welcome back to Arc Tutorials. In today's episode, I am bringing you top 10 best practices for writing bootstrap based applications. These best practices are equally important for developers or say UI designers or even UI just plain developers. Let's go ahead learn all the best practices. But before we get started, a quick word on bootstrap framework. Bootstrap is a popular front end framework that allows developers to quickly build responsive mobile first web applications. In this tutorial, we'll explore some of the best practices for building bootstrap applications, including versioning, grid following grid, customizing bootstrap, using semantic HTML, optimizing for performance, CSS pre-processing, responsive images, testing on multiple devices, etc. At the end of this tutorial, you will learn and there would be a good amount of takeaway for you so that you can start implementing in your projects. Let's get started with the list. The first and the foremost is always try and stay on the latest version of Bootstrap. Right? With any other software or framework, it's important to use the latest version so that you can make um, use of all the patches, bug fixes, security updates, or even for that matter, the new components which are released as part of that framework. An outdated version can lead to compatibility issues, security vulnerabilities, or browser support with respect to different browsers. Right? So always stay close to latest version is what I tell. If not latest, at least stay to the closest one. Now follow the grid system. Now Bootstrap provides an excellent powerful grid system which can be used to create responsive layouts that work on a range of uh, screen sizes right from the smallest excess to small medium large extra large it's important because the grids are defined in a way that it will have a consistent and will prevent any conflicts with other bootstrap components so follow the grid system that's built in that's defined with the utility classes and don't try to too much optimize it now talking about optimization and customization while bootstraps comes with a default set of styles and components it's important that we need to customize the bootstrap according to the brand according to the client's project or needs but remember friends too much too many customizations can lead into uh, conflicts when you upgrade to newer versions or have inconsistency in your application you should only try and match the brand typography which means colors, look and feel, fonts, etc. But the basic foundation of Bootstrap should not be touched as part of customization. So remember that when you are given a chance to work on it, always try and change the typography itself, the look and feel, the basic ones, which can be configured easily through preprocessors. I'll cover that in just a bit. Always try and use semantic HTML tags. Um, that, that way, it, the code is much cleaner easier to understand easy to scale right now use tags like header main footer aside section article that way you will have the context to the content on your web pages that's very very important do not write just plain divs divs are gone nobody uses them anymore you should start using article you should start using uh, sections you should start using aside uh, footer main header and all of these so that they can be better search engines can better understand the content on the web page the next is optimize for performance now obviously performance is a critical factor some people say that bootstrap is too heavy for their application you can always customize it you can optimize and remove some of the JS things components that are not used in your application and reduce the uh, things but having said that optimize for performance can be done in multiple ways like for example one is using a cdn right so cdn link that is content delivery network using cdn links can be faster and it can load fast load the js at the end of the uh, file always minimize minify the css and js right and those are the common best practices that are used for optimizing but having said that for from bootstrap if your application is not using all of bootstrap components try and remove some so that you save that extra um, space in the size in terms of size of the uh, js file or the css file i talked about css preprocessing right so use a preprocessor like a sas or less 
and then it's easy to write mix in variables conditional uh, statements etc also you can use or add or remove any bootstrap component easily when you are building your own uh, css or js file so start using css preprocessors that's the new standard if you haven't started using it please do recommend to your uh, manager or a lead and see if you can start using that learning this will take you lot far than where you are right now consistency now uh, consistency is very very important um, we talked about the brand customization using font color scheme right the brand scheme uh, typography layout um, and also not only that uh, the interface right uh, use the same color kind of cards everywhere in the page use the same primary button secondary buttons uh, headings uh, muted text etc these are the basic things that you need to have a consistency throughout your web pages otherwise the web pages will be looking two different pages will look two different way and that's not what you want using responsive images now when you are building websites obviously they will have images and you need to make sure that you need to use classes utility classes like img fluid now what they do is that they make it easy to manage the images as responsive okay and they will be able to scale accordingly to different screen sizes and that's the most key uh, feature of bootstrap at least i'll tell you with respect to images otherwise you will have to provide the images which are screen optimized you don't want to do that that's too much of time and effort instead start using classes which are available for responsive images like img hyphen fluid test on multiple devices bootstrap based applications are mobile first which means uh, it should work from mobile device onwards to any higher resolution so make sure that you test uh, your application in different uh, dom uh, devices uh, always prefer to use browser stack or sauce labs uh, which will help you to test on a real device and they provide more than 300 plus uh, devices that you can test across right with just one click so explore browser stack and sauce labs that will really help you make sure that your application is working on all devices consistently and smoothly last uh, bootstrap also comes with a lot of uh, accessibility support which means uh, accessibility is nothing but um, enabling users who are differently abled they should also be able to use your application now if you can uh, see bootstrap they already have aria labels aria attributes etc which comes for text title images and screen readers etc so those are really important especially when you're building a enterprise level application so those are something that are already built in in bootstrap and you should start using them a lot of times we just ignore them but don't ignore it sooner or later you will have to include them so better start using it from day one so these are the top 10 uh, best practices that i have learned working on various large uh, bootstrap based applications for different enterprises and clients i hope um, you find this list useful i'm sure there are some good takeaways that you will learn from this tutorial if i have missed anything please do share with me and the community of arc tutorials in the comment section will be happy to learn from you thank you again so much for joining keep learning keep growing and stay tuned for more episodes thank you so much